have you called 32,000 hours this month? You couldn't physically. Well, guess what? My YouTube channel is the best ISA department I've ever had. It's literally prospecting for me. And you never know which video. See, we all think we know which video is gonna go out there and just absolutely like, I've got videos that I didn't think were gonna go viral and they did. YouTube for real estate agents is one of the hottest topics when it comes to lead generation right now. When you start looking into passive versus active prospecting, passive prospecting is a really great opportunity to scale your business because it creates massive leverage of your time and your income. And the conversion rate is absolutely ridiculous. 85% or more versus active prospecting, which is about one to 3%. Now today I'm bringing on Kelly Wheeler, who as part time is closing tens of millions of volume from his YouTube channel. And we're going to talk about exactly the videos that have performed well that actually not many people are talking about, which was a bit of a surprise to me. Also, his entire content creation process and what he did in order to build momentum as putting part time effort into his real estate business. So if you're looking to get started, this is probably the easiest blueprint you can follow to build massive momentum by leveraging YouTube. Now, before we get started, number one, I'm going to link all of Kelly's YouTube channels below because he's got two, one of which we're going to talk about, which is his production focused YouTube channel, which even with a very small audience is building mass momentum of closed deals. And he's got a second YouTube channel for agents talking to you and showing you exactly what he does at a deeper level in order to build momentum so that you can replicate this for your business. Now, the second thing is I'm going to link Kelly's calendar info below in case you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one private Zoom meeting with Kelly to get his advice and help with how to scale your YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's bring on Kelly Wheeler and talk to you about his incredible strategies for leveraging YouTube as a real estate agent. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another incredible video where today we're talking all things YouTube. So a lot of real estate agents are wanting to leverage YouTube as a form of passive prospecting in order to attract clients at scale. And we've helped so many people do it, but somebody that's been excelling with it is our man right here, Kelly Wheeler. So Kelly, really excited to dive into your story and talk about the success that you've had with YouTube. So what's going on? So, you know, interesting, the, the concept of YouTube, that seems to be kind of the thing right now, right? I mean, yeah. it's like blowing up, like everybody has become a coach and a trainer. If you go to YouTube and search how to create YouTube content for realtors, everybody is now a coach and trainer, right? So yeah. what, what I think is interesting and fascinating is as you sort through all of that, there are several standouts that actually teach this stuff at such a level that it produces massive results. And so one of the things I want to say, agents, as you are watching this, be very, very careful because you don't want to go on a three to nine month beta test. You want to do what's what's working. And and Mike, there, and I'm not going to mention there are a couple people that are teaching YouTube right now. One of them is in Georgia. We all know who she is, the queen. And she's got some great stuff to say about it. But one of the things that got me thinking about this was some videos that I saw you do on your uh, partners who are killing it right now. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm good on video. I got a big audience. I'm pretty smart. I've built up this YouTube channel for real estate agents to a pretty good size. Why am I not doing it locally, right? And so I got a hold of a sheet from you that was the 25 things you need to shoot, right? Yeah. And I started doing it. And I'm like, I know it's gonna work. I just didn't know how quick it was gonna work. So I started down the journey, created my geo farm youtube channel uh and i'm not going to drop a whole lot right now because i know you got some questions but i created about nine months ago and so far amazing results disclaimer one though i am not a like and i told you in private conversations i have several real estate businesses i'm also a team builder i also coach a lot of agents and i get agents on my calendar all month long so i i still actively sell real estate but i'm not that's not my number one source of income it is an additional income so if I were a full-time real estate agent, you better believe I would be all in 100% YouTube and I would probably be running some pretty impressive numbers. I have to say with my experience so far, I'm blown away. Yeah, it's it's incredible, man. And and I think, you know, it'd be great to really kind of take that that kind of next step to talk about, you know, really why YouTube? Because there's some some components to YouTube. A lot of agents are looking at, well, do I do TikTok? Do I do Instagram? Do I do Facebook ads? And and you know, everybody's talking about YouTube, but why 
are they talking about YouTube? What's what's a differentiating factor? But why do you like it? Why do you think it's so powerful? All right, it's very simple. I want to be careful. Like th to me, that is the most important question you could ask me of this entire video, and right. I don't want to be verbose on this. Here's why it's important. It's the quality of the lead and the conversion. Mm -hmm. Let me let me share share with you what I mean. Mike, I am so good at running social media ads. I can fire off an ad. And, and this is something you and I, I, I we're probably going to do a video on in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. I can launch a Facebook ad in under one minute. Everything done. Creatives, everything. Literally. In one minute. That will generate leads within two to three hours. $10 a day, I will generate 200 leads. But those leads have a longer conversion factor. Mm-hmm. And they have to be worked. And these are not people specifically looking for me. These are what I call drive-by. Yeah. I can also do direct mail. I can geofarm areas. And I do that. And I do it at a high level. As a matter of fact, I believe my direct mail programs crush just about everybody else out there. However, there is a time factor. There is a specific time factor on conversions and a smaller scaled percentage. Where's everybody at right now? TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. But those three, specifically YouTube, that's where everybody's at. When you want to research a geographical location, you go where? YouTube. If I'm looking to move to Toronto, I'm going to start searching things on YouTube about Toronto. Best restaurants, best schools, uh, best subdivisions. What realtors are really good in Toronto, right? I'm doing all of this research prior to making the move. And yeah. so when you get that client, that is as pure unadulterated client as you will get. And I will even go so far as to say it stomps Zillow leads. Yep. In my 100%. humble opinion. Well, and, and, and the cool thing is, man, talking about that is looking at the fact that, you know, you touched on the fact that, you know, you would go to YouTube, but the cool part about YouTube is that it's owned by Google. So some people are going to say, well, no, I would go to Google. Well, guess what? If you go to Google and you search best neighborhoods, best restaurants, your YouTube videos can show up. And That's based right. on consumer behavior, you're going to see when you search best restaurants or best neighborhoods, a slew of ads at the top. And everybody knows that if you click on an ad, you're going to get bombarded by an agent and you don't want that. So based on consumer behavior, you want the information for free without putting in contact information and getting followed yeah. up. There's free videos right below that. So they're going to click on that, consume the information after you deliver on value, then they're going to reach out. And I think the, the other thing I just want to touch on before we go into your strategy is, you know, TikTok's great for building your brand. You know, Instagram's great as well for building your brand. Both I have agents that crush it on both of those platforms. But when you look at consumer behavior, if you're looking to spend 500000 750000 a million dollars, do you think you can make a decision of whether or not to move to a market center in a 30 second short form video or a 30 minute long form video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you're looking at buying power and deciding, um, you know, where to put your income, YouTube lends itself to giving that extra layer of clarity to people to help make that decision. And when you help somebody make a decision, they want to reach out to go further. So I think it's awesome just hearing your perspective on it because it's so, so true. And, and I would love to to now kind of hear your approach to YouTube and some of the success that you've had with it. So one of the things that might make me a little different from an agent just starting out is I am a marketing expert. I, I understand how to read the leaves. I understand that marketing is fluid. What worked five years ago, running a Facebook ad five years ago for home evaluations, we killed it. Mm -hmm. Trying to run a Facebook ad today for home evaluations is a friggin' waste of money. Yeah, People are like done with that. They've seen that. If they want their home evaluation, where are they going? Zillow, right? So you have to understand that marketing is... Fluid. Now, three years from now, Mike, you and I are going to be doing a video on the newest thing. Yeah. Because again, marketing is fluid. But if something's working, then by God, get on it and do it. Right? Squeeze the juice while it's working. Squeeze that juice, man. Squeeze that juice. And, and here's the thing. How many of you agents right now, and I'm going to fire your butts up right now. How many of you would love the opportunity to have people inbound calling you because they watched your stuff and they're ready to make a decision as opposed to you? And I'm not against cold calling, but I kind of am in today's market. How many of you would rather bang on phones for eight hours a day or have people watch eight hours a day of your content? Mm-hmm. 
there is an exchange of time. And one of the things I've learned from you, Mike, is we have to buy back our time freedom. Yeah. Right. And so what YouTube has allowed me to do is literally, I mean, I can show you, I'm not going to do it today, but on my analytics, I'm blown. Every time I show an agent, my YouTube channel and I show them the analytics, I'm like, let me ask you something. Have you called 32,000 hours this, this month? Yeah. You couldn't physically. Well, guess what? My YouTube channel is the best ISA department I've ever, ever had. It's literally prospecting for me. And you never know which video. See, we all think we know which video is going to go out there and just absolutely like, I've got videos that I didn't think were going to go viral. And they did. I'm like, yeah. holy crap. I have videos that I thought were going to be the most important aren't. <laughs> right? Yeah, same. So it's been a journey, but I come at it from the position that I kind of knew what I was doing, but I needed some, 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 I needed to have my knife sharpened. And so when I got a hold of your training, and guys, if you're not following Mike on his training, holy crap, you are missing out yeah. on literally tens of thousands of dollars a month in income. Because he's already laid out. He's got playlists, guys, where he's already like literally laid out and be be very, be very understanding. You need to subscribe and hit the bell on his channel because in the next three to five months, there is going to be a, a reallocation of new strategies you're gonna get on his channel on YouTube that will take you from 40,000 a year to six figures if you will just follow the information he's about to drop on his channel. But back to mine, Mike, I just stuck to the basics. Let me show you, this is my biggest thing right here. This is called an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yeah. This thing revolutionized that and it's somewhere around here. It's up on my here. This thing. This thing in my iPhone has made me so much money this year, right? Yeah. And and what I've done is is through trial and error and really more more trial than error, um, I've been able to put together content weekly that literally people are watching. Mm -hmm. I had two people call me yesterday, Mike. One guy is paying cash for a 350K home, which is it's hard to find those, but he's doing it. And then I had another lady say, it's a Japanese lady. Kelly, I love your ninja, your ninja channel. My folks are moving from where? New York. And we want you to help them buy a $650,000 house. Do you have time? And I went, let me think about it. Yes, I can help yes. them, right? Let me ask you something. How many agents are literally getting phone calls like that? Like literally every week, hey, I want to work with you. And that's what YouTube's allowed me to do is to absolutely take advantage of this marketing uh, system, this juggernaut, and create content that's valuable. So that's kind of what and i started about nine months ago on the channel mike i'm at like 700 subscribers that might not be great but i'm there right yeah. and tens of thousands of views and millions of dollars in real estate sold and over three and a half million dollars on the books right now of new construction waiting to be built all from youtube and I, you know i think that's such a good touch point to to kind of lean into which is that Everybody sees that, you know, people like me have, you know, 87,000 subscribers or whatever at the, at the point you're watching this. And, and they make the assumption that, you know, a couple of things, you have to get millions of views. You yeah. have to have tens of thousands of subscribers. You have to look like some model from selling sunset or million dollar listing. And you have to have super expensive gear. That's most people's assumption when it comes to YouTube. But the matter of the fact is you don't need expensive gear. The more average you are, the more relatable you are. And you mm -hmm. just need to follow a blueprint that relates to other people so that they can relate to you. And right. I think a lot of people overcomplicate it and they're they're always searching for excuses as to why they shouldn't be doing it or why they can't be doing it or why they won't succeed when they do it. Um, but we know that that's not the case. And, and you've done so well with that with not this massive audience, but getting massive volume. And I think there's this really cool thing where and again, I use this reference all the time. There's an agent in our group who is in Denver and they got 17 views on a video, but got a $1.4 million listing. Like you never know. 30, you never know. Because at the end of the day, unlike an ad, when you're putting money into an ad, you're forcing the viewership on other people. So you're forcing it to get in front of people that may or may not be interested. But yeah. if you have a video that's hyper specific to your local market, the only people watching it are people who are actually interested in your hyper local specific market. So the quality of the viewership is so much more powerful, right? So the vanity metrics kind of go out the window because it's about quality, not quantity. So, you know, knowing that, and you've been putting tens of millions in, into contract and in doing this basically part time amongst mm -hmm. all of your other incredible real estate ventures, 
let's kind of unpack those videos that have done well because i think a lot of people and this is where i see people going wrong is they say okay i'm gonna leverage youtube i'm going after it but mike i'm gonna put out these videos i'm gonna put out videos about should you stage a home or i'm gonna put out videos about when is the best time to sell and they're making assumptions as to videos that they should be putting out instead of mm -hmm. following a blueprint of what's been proven to mm -hmm. work. So based on your experience, what type of videos have kind of generated the most success for you and your channel? I'll give you a couple really good real world examples because I've got my channel pulled up and I'm looking at most popular down and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm visually now seeing where clients came from. And so and let me say this and then I'll, I'll share that. A lot of times people are like, oh my God, you've got these real big YouTube real estate agent stars in my town. How am I ever going to compete against them? You, you can. So I mentioned to you uh, a, a, a little while ago about a gentleman here in Orlando named Ken Pozak, who is a friggin' beast on YouTube. He owns Orlando, right? Guy puts out a video, gets 15,000 views in a month, like, like that, right? He's 30 minutes from me. How am I going to compete with him, right? Same thing with how am I going to compete with these big Keller Williams agents in my town doing 300 million a year? What? You compete against them by putting out great content and micro niching. So yeah. I had a client come to me who we just made an offer on their first home, new construction. It's going to take like six months to build, but we just went on a contract yesterday, came from my YouTube channel. Let me tell you what they told me. I always ask people, you came from my YouTube channel. Um, what made you pick me? Here's what this family said to me. We were watching, and Ken, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what happened. I think you're awesome. Okay, disclaimer. They said, well, we were watching uh, an agent in Orlando. His name is Ken Pozak, and we liked his stuff. But then we came on your channel, and it was like, like we so related with you. That's how I won against a mega power agent. Not, I mean, and he's probably got the same thing that happens to him. I'm just saying, don't discount yourself. And because somebody else in your town is doing it much better, more videos, they have a bigger budget than you. They didn't always start that way. They started in their basement with a friggin' iPhone, right? But you never know what you are going to attract or who you're going to attract based on your video. So don't discount the fact that other people are doing it at a better, higher level. That means crap in this game. Right. So let's talk about specifics. I have a video that uh, now this might not seem a lot for you, Mike, but let's just be real. My channel is eight months old, 700 subscribers. It's building every month. This yeah. this video is something I put out as ancillary, had no clue it was going to it hit almost 10,000 views. And it was all about one of the villages, Florida developers, which is a huge 55 plus area buying mm -hmm. land near Claremont, Florida. And everybody is wondering what they're doing. It's a little five minute video. I got more comments on that video. I was like, I was like, are you friggin' kidding me? This was not a home value. This was not a neighborhood video. This was not a video about local restaurants, entertainment. This was a video about a builder buying 900 acres and what is he gonna do with it? I got a closing off of that. Had nothing to do with anything about what you normally see on a real estate channel. Then I put out another video on a brand new 55 community in here from Dell Webb in Mineola, Florida got two buyers off of that video who were literally actively searching for Dell Webb in Florida and found that video and decided to move there because of me and my video. How many times do you hear that happen, Mike, from agents talking about that? That's how it works. Got another video that I put out on the Claremont, Florida Sunday farmer's market. I literally walked through a farmer's market with hundreds of people talking with my gimbal and interviewing different people that have these um, uh, tents where they're selling their goods and wares. Picked up a couple deals off of that. Picked up some deals on local neighborhoods, like new construction neighborhoods. So that's where I'm seeing it. It's content that people are searching for. They're looking at schools. They want to know about the school districts. They're looking at new construction, what's out there. They're looking at, I'm seeing a lot more views on price point videos, like three hundred dollars to $400,000 homes. Yeah. So I'm going to commit to doing those once a month. Now, I have a twist on it, Mike, and I'm going to drop this on you, and I'd love to hear your opinion on this because I think we can do some teaching on this. You know, one of the things that a lot of agents have issues with is trying to get into specific resale homes. Like a lot of agents don't want you to go video right inside. So what I'm starting to do now is I'm finding uh, on my three hundred to four hundred thousand dollar videos what's available. I'm starting to find three of the top three hundred to four hundred thousand, and I'm going to do a drive by in my car with my phone on the front window, and we're going to do a drive by in the neighborhood and literally stop in front of the home that has the first and just do a quick video. Hey guys, here's one, and in just a minute I'm actually going to be in my office and I'll walk you through the MLS photos. 
So that's yeah. that settles the whole thing about I'm not able to get into some of these homes because agents won't let me. Go and do a once a once a month, three to four hundred, four to five hundred, whatever. Drive by the neighborhood because people love to see that. Maybe stop in front of the home and do like a one minute uh, uh, B roll. Hey, I'm in front of this home. We're going to get to it in a minute. I'm going to show you in my office. But those things are starting to gain traction on my side. So that's kind of what we're doing with the channel. But some of the videos that are really going viral are videos I didn't think were going to go viral. It's yeah. kind of shocked me. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, when we started to unpack this, like, when agents are looking to approach YouTube, you just need to put yourself in the consumer's shoes. Like if you were looking to move, like ask yourself this genuinely, if you were looking to move to a completely different city, state, province, country, what would you be searching for? Go make those videos for your market. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people in, in some of my friends in the marketing space talk about uh, educational levels of content and you've got elementary school and you've got PhD. Well, a lot of people are making PhD level content, which is content that is almost bottom of funnel as if somebody's fully educated, fully prepared, really well versed in the buying or selling process. But that's like 0.1% of people. You need to make elementary and middle school level content for people that are just starting their journey. And then when they work with you, you guide them the rest of the way. So those videos, as you're alluding to, which is, you know, being at any, any early adopter opportunity, like a new land development, new construction, new phase. If you could be one of the first ones there, you've got a gold mine on your hand. So I think it's great that you're looking into that because almost any city has future proposed development plans that you can yes. access if you dive deep enough. Well, go make some content on it, right? And everybody has access to that. And so many people are, you know, overcomplicating it. So, you know, knowing that these videos have performed well, a lot of people are always curious as to, you know, your, your content process, which is, you know, your, how are you finding your ideas? Once you find your ideas, how are you recording them? And then are you outsourcing your thumbnails or outsourcing your editing? Are you doing it yourself? And you know, what kind of from start to finish in Kelly's world, what does that look like for you? First thing that I want to say, and I get this question from a lot of agents is, you know, should I pay somebody to do all my editing? Should I pay somebody to do my thumbnails? And my answer unequivocally, unequivocally is yes, when you can afford it. Yep. Because if you scale like we're talking about six months from now, a year from now, you're not going to have time. And you've got cash flow coming in. I'm telling you, people say, well, it just costs too much. You know what handles cost too much? Closings. Yeah. Cash flow answers every friggin' problem. So for you guys starting out or you haven't seen the kind of volume we're talking about, or go and watch uh, Mike's interview with Suman. Oh my God. Yeah. Blew me Another away. Another one coming up. Just wait. Holy crap. But see, that's where you have cash flow now. And that, you know, we always talk about always make sure you personally are doing your highest dollar productivity. Everything else gets farmed out and you, you pay somebody to do it. Well, when you're first starting out, you do it all yourself. So how did I do it? With this phone right here. And I went and went to Amazon and found this really cool. And I had to go through four, $200 worth of them stupid car clips where you put your phone on it until I found the one that worked. Um, but I found the one that worked. Um, so I got that. Um, I found a, um, you know, I used to edit everything in Canva, believe it or not, Canva guys go pay $9 a month. Trust me on this. Trust the ninja, go get Canva. It does a whole bunch of stuff for your business, thumbnails, everything, but you can edit videos in Canva very easily. It's not hundred percent the best way to go, but you can start off for $9 a month and do some really nice editing. So from there, I went and purchased an editor called Flixier. I think I got it from you. <laughs> Um, so I'm now editing in there. And at some point, probably early next year, I'm going to outsource all of this. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Canva can do your thumbnails, brilliant thumbnails. Um, how do I get the ideas now? I look at, there's two primary sources for my ideas, other real estate agents. And we're going to talk about that in a second. And then, um, you ready for this? Don't laugh at me. Chat GPT. Oh yeah. Now. When it comes to other real estate agents, what I don't want to do is go and find other real estate agents that aren't getting a lot of views. Mm -hmm. I don't want to replicate something that's normal, something that's undervalued. I want to go and find the agents that are having the highest views in the shortest amount of time. So I'll go into a real estate agent's channel and I'll start with his most popular. 
And those are usually a year old or, or more. But if he's got one on there that's his most popular, it's three months ago, I want to find out what he talked about. And then I look at the latest and I'm going to go through that agent's channel and I'm going to write down his top videos and the niches he's talking about and the, the content, whether it be restaurants, schools, bars, pubs, churches, best neighborhoods. I'm going to write that down and then I'm going to grab his content and I'm going to reiterate that content through chat GPT. And so for instance, if somebody's in Toronto talking about the three best subdivisions and he's got a description this long and it's all about Toronto, I'm gonna go to drop that into chat GPT and I'm gonna say chat, every time he mentions Toronto or Canada, change it to Claremont and Florida. And then I've got a really killer, does that make sense, Mike? Oh yeah. Okay, um, but for, for my ideas, I'm getting it from other realtors. Like I don't wanna reinvent the wheel. And you kind of paved the way with your do these 25 videos and you've got this brilliant, uh, spreadsheet of what you need to do. And guys, if you're just starting out or if you've not done very well with it, make sure you get on Mike's calendar because he will hook you up. Guys, there is a spreadsheet he will give you that will literally light a fire underneath you. And, and it's your blueprint. You use that with ChatGPT and you don't have to worry about content anymore. Content is there. It's, it's easier today in 2023 to get content for real estate videos than it has ever been. Like five years ago, I would be struggling right now. Today, I don't. Content's already there. I just have to repurpose it for my geofarm area. And that's how yeah. I get my content. I love it, man. I think, you know, it, I always tell people like, you know, one of the references that I use in, uh, you know, when I speak on stage is like, you know, if you're looking to golf and, you know, Tiger Woods comes over and shows you how to swing a golf club, you know, I see so many agents that are going to say like, okay, Tiger, that was cool, but I'm going to swing it this way. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why would you do that? Like the, the one of the greatest of all time just showed you how to do it. It's been proven to work at the highest level. Go do exactly that. And then over time, you earn the right to tailor it toward yourself, make little tweaks. And I think it's the same thing with YouTube. Like if you're getting started, go look at any of the channels that have thrived, mm -hmm. go recreate, filter the videos by most popular, recreate it for your market. And then over time, you will earn the right to say, okay, based on my experience, my understanding, I'm going to toss this one in. I'm going to add that one here. But in the beginning, the roadmaps, like it, people, it's already been done multiple yep. times over yep. in multiple different markets. So I love that you've just taken a very logical approach to it. Um, and again, just use equipment. Like what, like just talk about, so you've got your iPhone, are you using a mic? Like what, what are you, what are you approaching the quality with? Here's my web camera when I don't yeah. use my phone. So guys, pause the video, write that down. This thing is killer. That's what I'm on right now, okay? I'll link it in the description. Okay, I'm using the Yeti Blue. Oh yeah. Now I'm changing this probably in the next 30 days. I'm grabbing your, cause, cause Mike, you've got a really great studio set up. But listen, that his stuff costs thousands of dollars, but he didn't start off with that. Matter of fact, I saw some of your first videos. <laughs> Holy crap, they sucked. Oh yeah. Can trash. we be real? Oh yeah. Total trash. The equipment you were using was probably an iPhone 6, right? Yep. <laughs> right. But guess what? You built your foundation, even with what you had, you started, you know, version one's better than version none. Yeah. Right. So I looked at your stuff at the beginning. I'm like, well, God, my stuff now is better than what he had. So I'm going nowhere, but to the roof. Yeah. And that's not a slam on you because you were doing what you had. Right. So you always don't despise your small beginnings. So I started with primarily this, my gimbal. So when I go and do like new construction, by the way, new construction tours, guys, I'm telling you, listen to what the ninja's saying in uh, September of 2023. New construction tours are friggin' gold mines right now because the builders will let you in the home. You don't have to call an agent and see if you can get in there. Builders want you in there. And then they're offering like 20 and $30,000 towards closing costs. They're offering, guys, if you are not doing new construction right now on your videos, you are missing it. But anyway, I digress. I use that. Uh, I have this little ring light, but I'm getting ready to purchase. I'm just waiting for the right ones to really kind of, but I'm, I'm, I'm redoing my whole office. All this office is being redone. Behind me, I'm getting rid of the enterprise. I, I spent $700 on this killer um, uh, round uh, circular thing that's going to have the Wolfpack Ninja logo. It's going to have my logo and it's going to be lit up and it's going to do all these really cool, it's going behind my wall. I'm painting. So all of my studio is going to be changed. But, um, you know, Yeti microphone, iPhone, Razor, and I'm getting some really cool lighting for my studio. That's all, guys, we're talking under a thousand dollars, right? And that's what I'm using. And then I have that little tool that I put in the front of my car where it goes on the windshield. 
because I love to do a lot of video vlogs. Like I'm driving through the neighborhoods, talking about the neighborhood. Guys over here on the right, you'll notice there's the clubhouse. We're going to go look at it in a minute. Uh, and over here on the left, you notice all these trees. Well, that's what you get with Hoopy Doopy neighborhood, right? Yeah. Just that. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm just speaking real. I'm talking real. And if you screw up, it's okay. It shows your your comment. You're normal. Like I've had videos where I've screwed up and didn't stop the video and re-record it. I just said, well, guys, that's what you get when you're live. But hey, and that's what you get when you get me. You get a real human being. Turn that around when you do your videos. I love it, man. And I think, again, you know, I love that you brought up my my first videos because as you're talking about, like <laughs> I, I used a GoPro Hero 3, like from my high school days and Holy crap. yeah no audio couldn't set it up but again i got started and what i did is every year i just added based on reinvesting 30 percent of my commission back into my business yes. i added something new so i went from gopro to a canon m50 with a blue yeti and then i went to a sony a6600 with a sure smb and then now this year I'm building out my new studio, my new house, it's going to be a hundred thousand dollars, but that's six years into putting out content. And I think a lot of people are looking at where we are today. And I always tell people, don't compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 20, because yeah. if I did that, I never would have got started. Cause and you're going to go only... on a walkabout if you do. <laughs> exactly. And the, and the thing is, is I know even with this hundred thousand dollars studio, I'm going to build out is that next year, I'm going to look back at those videos and say, I don't really like that background. I'm gonna, I don't really like that lighting. I could do better. And every year it's like that because as driven entrepreneurs, we're always going to be our own harshest critic. So be a little bit more gentle on yourself and just understand that you have to get started somewhere. And I don't always tell people that when you start hearing these agents that say, well, you know, my video is not perfect. I'm a perfectionist. Well, perfectionism is just procrastination in disguise, right? So, or the way that I usually say it is perfectionism is pra pra uh, procrastination disguises quality control, right? And you're trying to get this quality that inherently will never exist, which is being your excuse and your barrier to getting started. So I love that you talk about that journey where every year just get a little bit better. And, yeah. you know, it, it's it's inevitable. And the, the, the thing that I'll talk about before going into some of these other things that I'd like to unpack with you is that there's a stat that shows that if you invest 100 hours into any activity, you'd be better than 95% of the rest of the market at that activity. I That's agree. 16 minutes a day. So if you suck at video right now, great. So does everybody else that's just getting started. But if you spend 16 minutes a day practicing on video, recording little videos, by the end of the next 12 months, you'll be better than 95% of the industry. And guess what happens when you do that for five years? you get better than most people. So I always encourage people to just get started. And, and Mr. Beast, the greatest YouTuber of all time says this, don't talk to me until you've put out a hundred videos. If you've put out a hundred videos and you've consciously tried to get better every single video for a hundred videos, then we can talk about conversion. Then we can talk about stats, analytics, data, but you have to just get started, get in momentum and be consistent. So I love that you talked about that. And, and I'd like to kind of steer it in the direction of there's going to be a lot of people that have these excuses. What are some of the biggest mistakes you see people, you know, kind of falling victim to when it when it comes to their YouTube journey, whether it be not optimizing or not learning? Like what what's your kind of take on somebody saying, Kelly, I'm getting started today. What the heck should they avoid? Number one. I'm a firm believer, Mike, I like you. I probably spend no less than 20 hours a month educating myself on the newest technologies. I'm not, look, I'm techie, but I'm not techie. I have to work at this. Um, so education, number one, like study what the masters are doing. Mm -hmm. Go into major cities like Orlando, uh, Toronto, um, um, uh, Dallas, Austin, go and find some major cities and just do a quick search living in or moving to it. It's usually going to be a real estate agent and then study what they do. Like before I put my first video out, take time to know what the guys that are crushing this are doing and simply duplicate, replicate and do it consistently. That's number one. Number two is consistently. Yeah. Do not think. And, and Mike, I didn't think about this till I saw one of your videos. 
Don't have an unhealthy expectation that if you put out your first video within three weeks, you've got a million dollar contract. Yeah. Because if you don't have it in three weeks, you're going to say F this. Yeah. Set your timeline to get your first deal in the first 12 months. And then when you hit the first deal in four months, you'll be like, holy crap, I just blew away my expectation. Yeah. What's next? And then you're going to be able to take that and build on that. So I would say come up with a healthy expectation. Look at this channel as long-term cash flow. Look at this channel as your ISA department. Look at this channel as your sales department. That's literally, once you've got the content and it's evergreen, it's going to produce income literally monthly. But to get there, you have to start by doing the research, having a healthy expectation. And then the last thing, make sure you're putting out content every week. Don't go two or three weeks and think you're going to be the ninja because you ain't. You play playing it. Matter of fact, I'd rather you just stop doing it and go do something else. Yeah. This is one of those things that will yield massive results, but you have to be consistent with it. Does that does, does that that make sense, Mike? Hundred percent. And I think that kind of unpacks another really good question because consistency is is always relative. So you know, I think you and I have a very similar perspective on what consistency means when it comes to YouTube you know, what kind of cadence or frequency are you putting out content? And also one of the questions that people always have is what is the best time? You know, for, for me, I've always got, you know, obviously got an agent focused channel, but with you with a, you know, one of your channels is production focused and I'll be linking both below, but you know, what time and how often are you posting? Okay. So do you remember at the beginning of this video, I said that one of the things I wanted agents to understand is I'm not a full-time agent. Yeah. So my YouTube channel, I'm only able to to uh, to give it so much. My goal was one video a week, mm -hmm. right? My videos are 10 to 20 minutes long, right? And because of the tools that we have, like like uh, TubeBuddy, uh, VidIQ, ChatGPT, my job is easy. Yeah. I just have to literally sit down and record it. The other thing that I've been doing is I love going out and doing video drive-bys. And then being able to edit that into one really, and then maybe come back at the end where I'm in front of my community and say, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, those are the things I like to do. For me, I'm I'm seeing um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and believe it or not, Sundays are the best times for me to put content out. Mm -hmm. For me. Now, I know everybody has, you know, but guys, you have YouTube Studio. You'll learn all about that, guys, as you get into this. But it'll tell you when people are watching your videos. Right? That's when you want to be dropping content. Um. Mike, the other thing that I learned, and this is kind of a newbie mistake, is you've got to make sure your description is not 50,000 words long. It's very concise and give people the ability to look at your, like drop links below of your best videos. And I feel so embarrassed that I'm about to tell you this because I've had my YouTube channel where I coach real estate agents with almost 8,000 agents and I haven't done it until this month. And it's your fault I'm doing this. And I'm embarrassed to tell you, I never used end cards. Yeah. How stupid. So, so now I'm making sure when somebody comes into my video that I'm pointing them. Like for instance, I've got a very popular video on the Claremont, uh, downtown Claremont farmer's market. People love that video, sold a couple of deals on. So that's gonna be a lot of my videos now will point them to that. So I'm using end cards now. Uh, in your descriptions, guys, make sure that your first description is you, your name, your email, your phone, and whatever unique selling offer you want to give them, make sure that's pinned. Those are some of the things that I had to learn along the way. Um, knowing when to post a video, making sure that I'm doing at least one a month or one a week. My goal uh, coming into October is two. I'm going to see if I can squeeze out two on my local farm channel. Um, and ultimately I'm going to be have, I'm going to have agents, buyers, agents, and listing agents, which I never wanted to do. But as this thing grows, I don't have time to do it. I'm going to bring in agents that want to take the, take it and right, let them yeah. have it, make sure they're doing do it, and use the channel to actually drive multiple streams of income. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, it's a work, a work under progress. And, and I'm going to say this, <laughs> I'm going to veer off for a second. Suman, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go after him, man. That's, Come on, brother. You know, that's Let's go. Leapfrog. I'm it. coming after you, brother. <laughs> you have to, dude. What you know? It's it's incredible. And and again, like that just goes to show you. You know, new agent, new city, going and doing you know 114 deals in his second year, 2.6 million GCI. Changed his that's whole family's stupid. life. That's ridiculous. Stupid. Right? And guess what? But, he wasn't like a Tom Ferry, right? He's a new nope. agent. He was just consistent. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing, which is what you talked about earlier 
is he made sure he was the first one to put up a tour of any new model home. So yeah. he would actually go back. He would film it at seven in the evening. If that was his first access, he would go back, edit it and upload it at 11 p.m. It didn't matter if it was 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 11 p.m. He was going to edit it himself and be the first to put it out there so that whenever anybody's searching for it, he was first. And yep. I think, you know, as you're talking about, it's just about getting started, staying consistent and at least committing to a frequency that you don't have to stop. So, yeah. you know, I think it's incredible to see what you've done with, uh, you know, a smaller channel, especially knowing that you've got your larger channel where you frequently educate agents on how to achieve yeah. and do exactly what you're doing. So, you know, as we bring this full circle, Kelly, I'd love to kind of talk about the next phase of what we're looking at here, because, you know, we always like to ask people why you decided to partner with us. And, yeah. you know, you've got an incredible story. And for anybody that wants to know more about it, I will link it in the description below. But, you know, you were at EXP, you left, you went to Real Broker. That wasn't what it was cracked up to be. Went to the final club-based brokerage that also was maybe not what it was meant to be, which is LPT. Right. And then you came back to EXP, not under the original group, but under our group. So, you know, as somebody that's leaning into YouTube, leveraging content, building a brand, what made you decide to not just come back to EXP, but more specifically our group? And what can people expect when partnering with both you and myself? Correct. So one, one of the things that, that I have strived to do over the years, uh, Mike, is be able to help impact real estate agents' lives by coaching, by training on marketing, by helping them vision cast what they could be. And so that's how I built my brand on, on YouTube. I don't, pay, I don't charge for my coaching. Uh, I don't charge for an agent's, I mean, all of, I have spent tens of thousands of dollars on my direct mail programs. I give it away for free, right? Because I want agents to have what I didn't have when I started. That's, and if you guys follow me, and I know he's gonna put a link to my YouTube channel, please go check it out. Hundreds of videos all geared to help you be better at what you do. And because marketing is fluid, we try to put cutting edge stuff on yearly that might not be what worked last year, but it dang well is working this year. And that's what you're going to get from me. But let's talk about the specific question. Why EXP and why Mike Sherrard? There is this concept, and we talked about this earlier. It's two concepts that really drilled down into my psyche. Number one, if you want to be an eagle and you want to soar, you better dang well be surrounded by eagles. If you want to be a chicken or a buzzard, then you're going to hang around chickens and buzzards. And you, you know what? It's the definition definition of insanity is to hang around buzzards and chickens, but you want to be an eagle, yeah. right? You got to make some significant changes. Number two is the power of partnership. I went on a walkabout for two years and guys, there's going to be a video on Mike's channel. Uh, he'll probably, I believe he said he's going to link it below. Go and watch it. If you left EXP or you're at EXP contemplating leaving, or if you left and you're contemplating that you're not happy where you're at, what to do next, you need to watch this video. I literally poured out my heart on this video. I didn't want to be negative. I didn't want to say this agency's bad. It's just, here's my story, guys. And I think a lot of you agents will find yourself in my story. All I'm going to ask if you watch that video, it's quite lengthy. Get you some popcorn, get you a soda, because this is PG-13 or R-rated. This stuff is real life we're going to get into. And this goes back to Mike's question, why Mike Sherrard? I decided that when I left EXP and went on this journey, I realized that I actually left with wrong perceptions and I came back home realizing that I what I left was the best opportunity for me to grow and expand. And let, let, me, let me tell you what I mean by that. When, when, I, when I started thinking of coming back to EXP, and, and guys, I have to tell you, that decision was hard because it's like you never want to feel like you're going backwards, right? But sometimes you got to go backwards to find what you left. And that's what I did. But I decided I was going to partner with the right partner. I wanted to find somebody and I didn't do that. When I left EXP, I didn't partner with the right partner. And when I left and went to LP, it, it just, it wasn't the right partnership that was going to make me soar with the Eagles. And so what I did is I looked at four of the top groups at EXP that were on social media talking about what they're doing and how it impacts. And I interviewed them. See, this time I didn't let them interview me. And I told Mike this, yeah. Mike thinks he interviewed me. He didn't. I interviewed him because I wanted to know if this dude is the one, is this my ride or die? 
Is this the one that's going to get me to where I'm going to be free? And so I interviewed all these other guys and they're awesome guys, but there was a, there was a connection there because the thing, Mike, that you do that I do is I am helping agents look at the broad spectrum of what they can do with their business. We're not just going to talk YouTube, yeah. right? I don't want to base my entire marketing strategy and what I have to bring to agents on just YouTube. Although it's freaking amazing. Yeah. I want to be able to share TikTok, Instagram training. I want to talk about running Facebook ads the correct way. And by the way, guys, if you really want to get on our calendar, we're going to show you things like how to run Facebook ads in under a minute that will yield hundreds of leads, right? I want to be able, if agents want to run Facebook ads, I want to be there and help them. If they want to run Google ads, I'll show you how to run a Google ad in under two minutes that will yield results. I want to talk about direct mail. See, we're talking about a buffet of endless possibilities for an agent. And so when I interviewed you, Mike, you actually had the same philosophy, but at scale. And so what I did is I said, Mike Sherrard will be my ride or die. This will be the guy that has aligned more with my core beliefs and the fact that he is out there for free doing what I'm doing for free. And that's giving agents every opportunity to scale their business, utilizing the most current up-to-date methods possible that actually have quantifiable predictive results and that's what got me excited. Mike, that's why I decided to partner with you because I saw you as me, but at a level that I haven't hit yet. And I'm going to get there because of the partnership. And I'm going to drag every agent that will partner with me along that journey. And that, as concise as I can be, is why I made that decision to partner with you. It was a I well thought it. out decision, but I made that decision. Yeah, well, it, you know, you did the same as, as so many, many others is, you know, you went through the motions of interviewing people. And I think it's important to do that. And, and you know, this is an opportunity to work with people that you want to work with, that you get excited to work with. And the fact oh. that, you know, we're both practitioners of it and people have the opportunity to partner with both of us and get both of our help to build out custom strategies specific to them, their niche, their market, their goals, like every successful agent I've ever met, every successful entrepreneur I've ever met gets mentored by people that have been there, done that at the highest level and are willing to help them avoid all the cost, all the wasted time and all the headaches by shortening the learning curve, by giving you the blueprint because they've done it. And I think it's so funny when we see all these people that are saying, well, I want to, I want to leverage YouTube or TikTok and I'm going to join this person that's never done it. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, have fun. Good luck. And I'll tell yeah, you yeah. that it's not going to be easy. Whereas when you look at aligning with people that are beyond passionate about this opportunity and willing to pour into you, there's no way but going up to the top. So Kelly, again, man, super grateful to have you on here for another second video. And I know that we're going to be doing a lot more together. And guys, make sure to check out both of Kelly's channels. The production one's an incredible example of how to get started. And the agent focus one is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to getting coached and also making sure you make the proper choice when it comes to your brokerage. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, go check out those channels and we'll see you guys on the next video.